Um, I need this move. Is it yours? OK, because I've got someone critical coming in. Brilliant. Where's Max? He's, uh, stressed. No surprise. This is the worst I've seen him. Hey, shiny new title. That suits you, that. Don't. I'm doing it for Donna and the rest of the team, probably. Yeah, well, it's been a rough few weeks for everyone. Try months. We've got a pre -alert. We need to get through. Uh, yeah, sure, but can you offload here? Because I've got this vehicle here. Stevie, come on. Jacob, seriously, if anyone gets this, you do. OK. Thank you. The rumour is they're sizing up for Max's job, so if you wanted one of these shiny new badges, this might be a good time to keep your nose clean. Could it be true? An overstretched, underfunded department? All for me? Well, when you put it like that. Yeah, definitely another time to go rogue. And we've been waiting out here for, what, eight hours? She needs to see a proper doctor. No offence. It isn't Ian's fault. No, but how much longer are we talking? Well, it depends on other priorities. Oh, queue jumpers. Seen enough of those already. I doubt you want to be sat out here either, do you? You need to be back on the road doing the job you signed up for. Yeah. Yeah, you're not kidding. I'll go and see what I can find out. That's right. See? Spent four weeks in rehab. <laughs> and today I am 42 days clean. Which feels surreal, actually. I mean, especially when work emailed me and asked me if I wanted to come back, I just... I hadn't even thought about going back, you know? Yeah, I'll tell you all about it when I get home, OK? I'll, uh... Nat, let me call you back. What's that? I don't know. What's that? Did she just fall? Are you calling an ambulance? Yeah. Yeah? Sweetheart. Yeah, tell them she has a headwind. She's got a headwind. OK, she has a bracelet and she's diabetic. How much longer will she have to wait? I don't know, but, like, your mom's not our highest priority right now, which I know to you might sound like a bad thing, but believe me, it, it isn't. And if you've never experienced this before, count yourself lucky, because this is what it's like now, and we're flat out. I think you collapsed and something got hard with that headwind, but um, we've called an ambulance. It's just really backed up at the hospital, oh. so... I know, Dylan. Is there anyone I can call for you that can come and take you? Not really. Can't you? You seem... nice. You... You're looking after me. Oh, OK, Carla. Uh, Carla, stay with me. Uh, Come on, stay please. with me. All right, sweetheart, all right. Please. Please, get me to hospital. I'm sorry. Everyone's so disgusted with me. They're all staring at me and... I'm sure you can move past it. It's all done. Thank you. Yeah. Let's you finish, sweetheart. We'll bring you out now, OK? Do you know how long it's going to take to get someone to clean up her head? I need to get out of here. Yes, yeah, that's fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, had it occurred to you that people might be staring because you look like you've been in a bloodbath? <laughs> we had to wait outside for hours. No clue what was going on. If anyone would have listened to me when I said she needed a doctor, but... You think that would be easy in a bloody hospital? She was on the list. What's the point of a list if no one got to her? She needed someone to care. We do care. Not enough! Because if you did, she wouldn't be dead. I'm sorry. Really, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't you touch her! <laughs> <laughs> Sat's 94. 
BP 95 systolic. Okay, we've got good bilateral air entry, P and an inspiration. Okay. I think we're looking at a few fractured ribs. Um, can we do IV morphine? Keep an eye on his blood pressure and let's organize the CT as well, please. Yeah. Oh, heart rate's rising 95 now. Yeah, he's still pale and clammy over here. Brian, can you hear me? Oh. Right, okay. I think we're looking at a ruptured spleen. Let's do uh, own egg TXA infusion and yeah, let's just take him straight to the scanner and give theater a heads up. Well done, everyone. Let's prep him to move. Thanks. Uh, yeah, right. Um, what happened to Ryan was uh, a totally unprovoked attack. Uh, it's left him with significant injuries. Um, his CT scan revealed a ruptured spleen. He's in theater at the minute and um, yeah, uh, we hope he'll be in ITU within the next few hours. It, uh, I know that we know these things happen, but they shouldn't. And it's particularly tough when it's one of us. Um. Yeah, that's it, thank you. Okay, look, I know uh, we're all still processing this, so we have a full and immediate divert to St. James's in place, and we are boarding as many as we can upstairs. The next shift has been called in early, so anyone who wants to go home can. How can we? We're rammed. Even with extra staff, there's still not enough of us. What if someone else kicks off? Are any of us actually safe? We'll manage it. How? We'll manage it. I'm staying. Yeah. Yeah, me too.